Right, yeah, it's a bit dark, but there you go. We've got the van back down. <sighs> I have to have a clean up tomorrow. But basically, that's... It. <laughs> I don't know. But it's... Uh, it's got more weight on the back now <laughs> than it has on the front because of that. So, uh, yeah. Nonetheless, yes, the obvious missing bit. But that's where the motor's going to go. But that's how I wanted the van in the first place. So I could fit a motor to it. So that bit there is now going to... This is going to turn through 90 degrees. It's going to go in there. And then we'll get batteries in it and that'll weigh it down. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. And they, they actually make these, you see. They actually make these electric. Because the design is conducive to it. Because of the fact that the chassis is high. So you can fit stuff underneath it, like batteries and stuff, which is what they do. And I wouldn't be surprised if the electric version didn't work a shed load better. There's the engine. Oh, this isn't too complicated in itself. You can see, like, sump. There's the intakes. That's the head on that side. Because it's on its side, of course. You've got the front there and stuff. Gearboxes there. So all in all, not too bad. Kissing the, uh, the little one. Yeah, let's see if we can get that going. You know, if I can hook it all up. I've run over a few wires when I was manoeuvring it, so I might have ragged a bit of harness off, but uh, probably not something so crucial, because you see the, the wires look quite spindly and easy to fit. I'll have to take the loom back out. Yeah, wow, what a job. It bust up my uh, uh, trolley. There's wheels on the front, but they, it ragged them off. <laughs> Mind you, I don't think it's supposed to take that. I mean, what's that about? I don't know, say two, three hundred kilos. Because mm. it's got the gearbox on it as well. Okay.